Welcome to My Arctic Life. My name is Nasurak and today we're going to make akpik pie. So what is a akpik? Akpik is the word for cloudberry. Basically it's a tiny, beautiful, beautiful orange berry that is related to raspberries and it has a very citrus, almost mango creamy taste. Very unique to the Arctic. So let's just jump in and get started. It's best to get all of your ingredients ready so that you're not scrambling around. Start with a third cup of cold water and add ice to it until it reaches two-thirds cup water. Then measure out two-thirds cup of boiling hot water. Set both of these aside, ready to use. Add your orange flavored jello to your bowl. Make sure to use a bowl that's large enough to hold all the ingredients. Pour your boiling hot water into the jello and stir briskly. Take your time and stir for at least three minutes. The goal is to get all the jello dissolved. You don't have to use a whisk to stir it, and I kind of regret using one because it turned out kind of foamy, but that won't mess up the pie. Once the jello is dissolved, go ahead and add your icy water. You want to stir until the ice is melted and the jello starts thickening up a little bit. Once you notice there's no ice cubes, go ahead and add your semi frozen cloud berries. Cloud berries and the ice combined should start really thickening up your jello. The goal is to make it thick enough so that the cloud berries don't sit on the bottom of your pie. To make sure it's thick enough, we're going to go ahead and put it in the refrigerator or outside if it's cold enough for 10 minutes. Here you can see that it's thickened up nicely. Now we gently mix in the whipped cream. You can use homemade whipped cream if you want less sugar, or you can even use half melted ice cream if you want it really rich. Once it's all nice and smooth and mixed up nicely, you can go ahead and pour it in your pie crust. The mixture should be thick enough at this point so that the berries are not sitting on the bottom of the crust and they're evenly distributed throughout the mixture. This prevents a soggy graham cracker crust bottom. Place the covers back on the pies. And now 
now the hardest part begins because we gotta put it in the refrigerator for at least one hour. You could set it outside if it's not too cold or for a shorter period of time. You don't want it to freeze though. So here's the part of the video where I would show you slicing into the pie and a beautiful montage and with a fork, but we just ate the pie right off the bat. So instead I'll just show you the replay of the beginning video. And there you have it. It is a no-bake big pie. It should be nice and soft, but still be able to be cut and hold its shape. On this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a book that I got to be part of. This book is called Rural Voices, 15 Authors Challenge Assumptions About Small Town America. It's a good read for that 6th to 12th grader, or just a quick read if you're an adult. You get a really wonderful variety of rural experiences, and there's something for everyone in there. My short story is about a young Inupiaq woman that encounters something strange while she's out trapping in the Alaskan wilderness. So if you're interested in this book, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below to Amazon where you could purchase it. But this could be purchased at any bookstore. Extra points if you go and purchase it from a local bookshop near you. Koyanak and thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it with somebody. Take care out there, and we'll see you. Should have had lots of caffeine before I did this, but I didn't.